what we call it as a molecular imaging branch. So I'm taking care of that for India and other South Asian countries. So this is our product and uh, this has a lot of innovative benefits for the patients mainly and for the user as well and the complete uh, public uh, living in this part of the uh, state. So that, that would be the key benefit. And uh, along with uh, the press representatives, I would also like to invite uh, and uh, welcome Dr. Venkata Charapati. He is the head of the Department of Nuclear Medicine and uh, people from uh, Radiology Department. So they, they will be the people who will talk on the clinical aspects of that. So before uh, the machine, I would like to say that uh, uh, basically there is a big demographic change that is occurring in the population these days which is causing lifestyle diseases to increase, mainly cancer, cardiovascular disease and other diseases. These are uh, very much on the rise. And as per one of the statistics of uh, Tamil Nadu Health Department, the death due to cardiovascular disease alone is between uh, 360 to 410 for one lakh population. That is the death only due to cardiovascular disease. So then uh, the statistics also says that 20% of the adult population has hypertension and 10% of the people in general in Tamil Nadu have some kind of a cardiac ailment. So this is the kind of democratic population that we are looking at. And that is where exactly our uh, new machine comes in. Uh, this India Evo XL is a, a very patient friendly machine with the smallest footprint in the industry with the gantry opening which is 30% wider than any other machine that is available in the industry for much better patient comfort and it has a higher sensitivity so that it can do the scanning much faster for the patient. Patient needs to be under the bed for a much less time as compared to any other scanner in the world today. And the detector is so flexible that even without the patient bed, you can do the scanning straight away using a wheelchair or a patient stretcher itself. So these things are the unique features of this particular machine. Uh, of course, we will take you to the department to show the machine uh, for yourself and uh, then you can see the machine yourself. So these are the innovative things uh, where uh, patient can benefit uh, and the physician can benefit in terms of the uh, clinical utility of the machine in diagnosing the disease very early. And uh, the SPECT camera is more useful for diagnosing cardiac ailments, uh, neuro, renal ailments, thyroid, bone, for multiple uh, diseases, it is very helpful. I would like to invite Dr. Venkat to give some talks on the clinical utility of the uh, new scanner as compared to the earlier uh, type of scanner that you are having in the department. For the presentation on Gamma Camera, which is newly installed in the last uh, three months back we installed it. It is the first in India, this particular model. Now, before going to talk about the gamma camera, I just want to say what is nuclear medicine. This gamma camera is used in the nuclear medicine department. You might have heard this ultrasound, several scans like ultrasound or CT scan or MRI and all. So each investigation gives different information. So it is for the referring physician to decide which investigation is needed so that we get the essential information. We cannot order everything. Or just because it's some sophisticated scan is there, it doesn't mean we get the information by doing that sophisticated scan. So we have to select the scan or the investigation, appropriate investigation, so that the patient gets the benefit. Okay. So the ultrasound scan, it gives you information about anatomy. What I mean structure. CT scan. How does, what is the position or location of that particular lesion or the problem. So they both talk about the structural abnormality of the organs, whereas the nuclear scan talks about the physiology. It's a medical word, but in uh, uh, English, or the uh, real meaning for the physiology is, it is the function. What is the function of that particular organ? A normal size kidney or a normal size heart doesn't mean that it's working well. Or a bigger size kidney doesn't mean it's working very well. No, it is the function which is essential to be assessed in any disease process, because in medicine, any disease, it is a function which gets deranged first. Little later, over a period of time, it is the biochemistry, like what we do our ordinary blood test, like cholesterol or uh, CBC and all. But it takes a longer time for the organ 
to show some structural damages, changes. So, it is better to find out the problem much in advance so that we can intervene at the appropriate time. We can retrieve that particular organ. That is where nuclear scan comes into use. It is a physiology, that's what I have written. It is a physiology which is first to get the range and after significant time only, it may take days or weeks or months, we don't know. But it is the physiology or the function of that organ which gets deranged first. This was our earlier gamma camera, rolled one. From this, we have lived so much advanced to this present gamma camera. You might have seen the previous one, you see small aperture, small gantry. So a heavy patient cannot be taken in, patient finds it a little difficult, the table size and all. From this, now we have gone to this camera with a very wide bore size and the weight of the patient can be up to 225 kilos. So any uh, foreign patients, European patients who are heavy, they can be imaged very easily without any uh, discomfort. Because the table breath, which you can see in the department, the table breath is also quite convenient. The patient finds it very comfortable to lie during the particular scan. Okay, and of course, as Mr. Sudhi told, detectors, high uh, definition detectors, two detectors, the patient need not move anything. The camera moves around the patient and takes pictures 360 degrees. Before, just this is how your nuclear scan will look like. I will show you one or two pictures only. See, the this is a whole body bone scan. One injection and two hours later the entire bone is scanned, imaged. It takes only 15 to 20 minutes or maximum 30 minutes for us to image the entire bony system. This is how a normal bone will look like. And that is the second one is the picture which shows the cancer has spread to different parts of the bone. We cannot do a whole body x-ray or we cannot do a whole body CT scan. Because not only about money, it is the amount of radiation involved. This particular scan we get from head to toe. And wherever I want extra information, I can take that particular view only, like a thorax or abdomen or a skull, whatever it is. So you see, these are all the areas where the cancer has spread to the bone. Why it is important? Before doing any procedure, for example, there is cancer of breast, the patient comes to the doctor, he has to do staging to know whether the cancer has spread to any other area. Ultrasound will be done to know whether there is any spread in the liver. Then this bone scan is done to know whether there is any spread to the bone. Because when it is already spread, the treatment choice is very limited. So early diagnosis, staging helps the doctor to do a, select the appropriate treatment plan so that the patient benefits. This is a whole body bone scan, just 15 20 minutes. This the, is another scan. The cancer patient. Yeah, that's a cancer The first one is a normal bone scan, how it will look like. This first two sets, normal bone scan. The second one is a cancer patient. Here there is no uptake, this is normal. See, here you can see there is a small dot. There are changes. So that indicates uh, spread of cancer to the bone. This is another case, but it's pages. As I told you, we are talking about the function of that particular organ. Whether the kidney is big or thyroid is big, that is not the problem. How it is working, that is important. This is a thyroid scan, 20 minutes, and the scan takes hardly 10 minutes. Patient is having a neck swelling, whether it is from thyroid. If it is from thyroid, of course, ultrasound will help us to know whether this is from thyroid. If it is from thyroid, whether that particular swelling is a thyroid swelling is how good it is working or how bad it is working. See, this particular area, it is not working. The swelling is there, it is not working. Then we, the doctor will, uh, endocrinologist or the surgeon, they will decide what have to, what they have to do next. Okay, like FNAC, to rule out cancer in that particular uh, lesion. This is another scan which shows a cancer thyroid patient who has undergone thyroid surgery comes back to us to see whether there is any thyroid still remaining. 
So the, we have done a whole body scan to see there is still some amount of thyroid available which has to be irradiated with radiation so that he is totally devoid of the cancer problem. We don't want that, even that small little amount of thyroid to remain there because we can kill that, destroy that and put the patient on drug, okay, tablet. So these are all the, I am just giving you one or two examples only, not uh, uh, all the utilities of nuclear scan. This is again the kidney scan. Ultrasound we do, we get the information about the kidney size, shape and all. Then this particular nuclear scan, you see, you are seeing both kidneys. This is from the back, so this is the right and this is the left. How good the blood supply is, how the kidney is excreting. You see the kidney is perfused well, that is the blood supply is good. It comes to the kidney, concentrating there, and slowly you are seeing the bladder. That is, it is draining. This is represented in the form of a graph. So we give information, again you see here, left and right, how much the left kidney is contributing, how much the right kidney is contributing. So this gives again extra information. What we have to do next? Which kidney to be removed? Whether it will benefit the patient by removing the kidney? So all this decision making, this particular scan will have. But you see here, I am not seeing kidney, very poor kidney. <coughs> so it says, what is the present situation of the kidney function? On behalf of the Department of Radiology and Nuclear Medicine, I would like to thank you, my colleagues, the, uh, colleagues from the press, Siemens, for having uh, come here all the way and uh, for sharing the information what you are going to bring out. Thank you very much.